RV Prepper is Wayne here. Uh, today I'm going to bring a short video to you. Um, it's getting colder out and it's time to take care of the heater. I should have already had it done. Uh, what I'm doing today is pulling out my uh, gas heater out of the RV and I'm going to go through and clean it up, uh, oil the bearings in the motor. Uh, last year every time you turn it on it would kind of squeal for uh, a minute or two and then once it warmed up it would quit so I'm going to pull it out clean it all up get uh, the dust and everything out of it and um, you know all the bearings so we'll get to that um, another note uh, since my surgery it's been a little over a week now I'm doing a lot better still sore but uh, doing a lot better um, just a lot of stuff been going on, uh, passing up my brother uh, the day after surgery, uh, the surgery, and, and with everything, I've had my hands full lately. So, uh, on the heater, uh, first thing let's do is uh, let's go outside and shut the gas off. Okay, mine, I've got a tank out here, so the first thing I'm going to do is shut my tank itself off. Uh, some people, your gas shut off is going to be at your propane tank itself, which would be here. Uh, but I use the bottles. It's easier to have them filled up. And let's go show you what, what I got inside there. Okay, I have my gas turned off. And what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to light the stove and let the remaining gas burn out. Uh, and then we'll get into pulling the uh, cover and everything off. And I'll show you what we got in there. Okay, I have the Atwood heater. I have it, uh, it's never been pulled out. The first thing we'll do is pull the cover off. And we'll have a kitty come and help us. Watch out, kitty. Uh, I'm going to use a three quarter and 11 sixteenths wrench and first thing we'll do is get the gas line broke loose Okay, and uh, my thermostat wires, I got to see where my thermostat wires are, so I'm going to pull this cover here off. Let me get a light and I'll show y'all in there. Let's get this other screw here off. Okay, uh, this is my igniter. Uh, this is the button that you push that gives you the spark. And I don't see my thermostat wires here. So let's pull this cover here off. And this also has the breaker in here. So also we'll have to disconnect the power wires. Okay. And... Looks like my power comes in from right there. You can tell it's dusty. Uh, so now let's go on the outside. Well, while we're right here, uh, we have a duck, a heating duck. Uh, 
to go ahead and get that clamp loose. And get that slid off. Okay, and let's go in my outside com compartment and let's see what we got that we need to get to there. Um, slide that back on. And let's go look at this outside compartment. Okay. Uh, the wires I have coming in are these right here. So what I'm going to do is I'll end up splicing them back together. That thermostat wires and power wires here. So what I'm going to do is just cut the uh, on the long side and then we can splice them back together there. Um, I think what I'm going to do on this red wire bins, we got two into one, is we're just going to cut it short. And we will end up eliminating this splice. There. That one there. And cut. There. Okay. And we got the wires disconnected. I did go I did pull the fuse. Uh the twelve volt fuse for the fan. I already got that pulled out. Now uh the only other thing left here that I know of is we need to pull this outside cover here off. So let me go ahead and uh, get my drill for that. And I've been just sealed. It's probably uh, going to need a little prying to come off. Yep. And there's just two screws that's holding it here. Okay, what I'm going to end up doing, like in mine, I have a, a drawer that's right above here. <coughs> I'm going to pull this drawer out because that way I can get in there and see more uh, on the uh, side, make sure there's nothing else holding it down. see anything holding it. I said it's never been out. Okay, I had to get out here and get this here off. It, it took some working. And let me show you what was why it was so hard to get off. This is the rust that was in the tube. That tube was kind of rusted on there. 
I, I bent that up a little bit, but I can straighten that and got it out. And let me show you the other piece. Okay, let's just see what I can dump out of mud daubers and stuff that was in it. And there's still another one in there. Yeah, I have to. That's another reason I needed to get it cleaned up. Uh, I'm gonna put this back in. I'm gonna sand that. Uh, real good and I'll put a little bit of anti-seize on it uh, not a lot but just a little because this does have heat and grease uh, will stink that anti-seize just a little bit uh, may keep it from sticking on there and help it go in so let's go inside and slide the unit out <laughs> 